All right, hello YouTube. Uh, bit of a different thing. I'm playing some blue black standard uh, in standard, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this deck um, has had a number of good finishes recently. It looks like a lot of fun. Glint Sleeve Siphoner specifically is like kind of a low powered Bob, but that's that's a, still a pretty cool card. Uh, Brassica's Contempt obviously is great. Say I'm quiet. Um, oh, that's that's mute. I have noticed other streamers were quiet as well. Does this make me quieter or louder? If I go this way. I, I, it might either be Twitch or like Streamlabs or something. I'm not sure. Because I've noticed for a couple other streamers, this hand is kind of bad. I'm going to mulligan it. Um, I've noticed for a couple other streamers, I've had to turn them up where I didn't before. I got a, I have a two month sub? Dude, that's, that's pretty hype. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, play this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely good for a six. It's not, it's not the best hand and it may just get run down by these things. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this for at least one more turn. I think getting the card's important. It's, it's just going to die. I'm not, I'm not going to keep it at all. All right. We got this. Sarkin goodness. I, I'm going to be playing. I, I want to play a lot of standard um, after rotation because I'm playing in the Invitational in December and I want to like, you know, get back into the format, figure out what's good and whatnot. Until, until then, I'm just going to be playing decks I think look fun like this deck. So I think I can get this Liliana to take over the game, assuming I don't die. So what I really want to do is hit a land drop here. Um, if I... Yeah. Since I didn't hit a land drop... I think I'm going to go for this. Yeah, I might, I might just die here. What's up, Marty? How's it going? I'm uh, dying to red cards. I took I took a risk, and I don't think I'm gonna get paid. To Niv Mizzet, I don't even know what Niv Mizzet is. Is that like a card from Ravnica that we think will be in the set, but have no actual proof that'll happen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. All right, I'm dead. I'm super super dead. Just, just the most dead. Alright. We need the sweeper that isn't in our deck. Alright. Um, let me think. I guess we can try... We can try this, see if... Yeah, alright. Dead. We're dead. Super dead. Okay, so I have Autumn sideboard guide and she will lead me to victory. She says to take out these cards and to add the cards that interact with their creatures. Uh, not this card. This sounds like a good plan. Um, and coup, I already grabbed coup and cast down. Okay. So, <laughs> so in this matchup, I think what we want to be doing is just keep as much small ball removal as possible and then try to turn that into like a, into like uh, some bigger thing. I think this hand is fine. It doesn't have a one mana piece of removal, but it has cast down. And I think this card's actually good in this matchup, but... 
I don't, I cannot be sure. Yeah, so like this turn, I think I think I want to hold on to the blood fast and play it later. Like I I basically want to make sure my life total is high as possible because they do have a lot of burn spells. Um, people, people call me Bob Nick a decent amount actually, because because my real name in real life is Nick, and my online persona is Bob and Cheese. I, I will be glad when rotation comes and I can lose to a different subset of cards. Because I feel like I've been losing to, to to these cards for a very long time. Dude, I, I do have a job. I, I am a system administrator. Look at me putting my removal spells on my opponent's creatures. Like a pro. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Alright, so if we just keep hitting land drops here, I'm pretty sure we can't lose. Like, if, like if I get to cast this Gear Hulk at a reasonable... At a reasonable point. You cannot block... Maybe, man. I, I want him to be super dead, but I don't know if I believe it. Sure. Teehee. I, I think they're fine. I think if they were all that was going on in standard, I'd be pretty against them. But I think there's enough other stuff going on that they're fine. Wait, this thing's green? That's lame. That's, that's off brand. Oh no. I'm definitely blocking this. That's great. <laughs> I can block five. Oh my god. That's that's pretty gas actually. Also, for those of y'all who don't know, this is Autumn. This is her deck. Or I mean, you know, magic's complicated and lots of people contribute to making decks. But she did well with this deck. <laughs> the the person two lines above you in chat, man. <laughs> she is the English national champion for this year. And she has a stream. I don't know what the stream link is. You should you should read Twitch you should read Twitch chat. Hey, thanks for the follow, Autumn. Yeah, so this is going to be... Assuming I win this game, it will be my first game win as Mono Red. And it's also the my first match since I paid for Star City Premium and looked at the sideboard guide. So, basically, the sideboard guide is OP. Yeah, basically, my appeal, the appeal for me for this deck is that um, I wasn't doing particularly well against red, but I was smashing everything else, and I felt like the red matchup was in the realm of fine, but I'm bad, and so I thought, what if I wasn't bad? Then there's nothing I can't accomplish. <laughs> I, 
I also learned via that sideboard guide that I'm not nearly smart enough to cast Champion of Wits. So whenever that happens, y'all can y'all can yell at me. Um, we're just gonna draw a card. Uh, do I want to draw cards? I don't know if I want to draw cards. I don't think I want to draw cards. Um, so I think here I want to hostage taker this guy to kill him that's fine yeah so now I have this fatal push up to kill their next thing, but I'm able to like put some pressure on the board and start doing stuff. That doesn't matter. I could have saved that by fatal pushing my hostage taker. Um, he would not have died because I don't have revolt on, but it would have prowessed this, but I didn't think that was what the, the game was really about. Okay, um, so the sideboard guide is still perfect. So I'm going to keep all these great cards I wish you could, like, tell Magic Online that Contempt was a 4-drop, and I want it to be in the 4-drop spot at all times, and not, like, 11-drop or whatever it actually is. Um, I think, I think this hand is bad. Like, it has lands and spells, and I think Scarab God is, is like, pretty important in this matchup, but... They're going to get under the Sessant Scatter, and then I, and I don't have any interaction for that, so I think I can do better. This hand is okay. I really want a one-drop piece of interaction, but... I agree, but I think... I think against aggro, people underestimate how important um, how important playing your stronger spells are. Like, if I just keep, say, like, four removal spells, that's, like, pretty good. But you don't win the game by playing the most removal spells, right? You, you win the game by, like, eventually playing your more powerful spells and then capitalizing on the fact that as your opponent draws more cards um hmm. i think i want to hold this essence scatter because he could hazard me next turn i think if he wants to hit me for two i'm just gonna let that happen This means he isn't going to hazard at me, which means I think I need to use my mana this turn. Like, that's not ideal, but sometimes you gotta do stuff that ain't. Yeah, we're gonna... I think, I think we're getting run out here. Missing on land drops. This card, see, is not... It's not... The thing. Yeah, we're, we're gonna die to that. Yeah. Alright. Unfortunate. Didn't have any other one-drop interaction in both in either game one or three. And so, like, in game two, you can see that because we were on the play, the fact that our stuff was a little bit more expensive didn't matter. But in the other games, they were just able to get under us and just kind of hit us with stuff. But that's okay. That, hopefully, we can play some, like, garbage control decks and just beat them up. Beat them up with our powerful cards. 
it's pretty bad. Um, I'm I'm a pretty big fan of burn and modern because you can't brick on your land drops because you only need like two of them. So that's that's pretty powerful. Hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, those aren't sounds I know how to make, but thank you for the follow anyway. I I do not think that game three was very close. Um, I think all three of the games were were very one side. Oh my god. Bleh. All right, I'm 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 into this. <laughs> I'm into this hand. <laughs> uh, this is a spell. It's like a pretty good spell. We're, we're gonna keep us. We're gonna keep spell on top. I <clears throat> maybe should have bought him and tried to hit a. Oh fuck yeah. All right, so our slow as dirt hand is probably reasonable against irrigated farmland. Um, I think I still want to cycle here. But yeah, I, I, I think the red versus this matchup is probably going to be very... Um, even if the matchup itself is close, I would expect the games to be very swingy. So this is like the Hexproofless Boggles deck. I'm going to take two from this. Um... Um... I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but we're going to counter that. Oh no! A sacred cat! Alright, so the plan... <laughs> I, I guess... Uh, so, basically... This matchup... Is going to be heavily determined... By whether or not... The Scarab God sticks. Um, so we're just going to like jam this. Bam. So the plan is for them not to ever kill this and then you win the game. They drew a land, which means they can kill this now. Not with that. What, what does this even do? I think I can figure it out. Um, all right, so here we're just gonna give me that. Do I want more fatal push? Um, probably not. I think I just want lands. This is a land. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna attack here because there's a good chance they have. Exile the tapped thingy spell. And I don't want them to exile my things. Oh no, a bigger cat. This is like kind of scary. Okay. Um, so what we can do here... I guess we can't trigger a revolt unless something dies. I don't want anything to die. Hmm. So I guess I can like trade this here and this here. And kill, kill this thing. Uh, 
We are playing versus the all-powerful Cat Tribal deck. I could animate this, but I don't think I actually want to animate a thing here. I think I just want to uh, flash in this Torrential Gear Hulk and kill something. And then try to win from there. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say like so much. Um, I'm also just going to like time you out of my channel for being a dick. Alright man, thanks for the follow, Mr. Rootwalla. Alright, so now the question is, do I kill a thing or I think I just kill a thing. I think it is very difficult for my opponent to win the game if they, if I am at a reasonable life total. So we're gonna we're gonna play that. Yep, you have a cat. And again, I I really want interaction for some of this stuff. So that's a commit. Um. Play this. Oh god. <sighs> okay. I didn't really want to reanimate a cat though. Um And and if I if I brick two cats he can I, I guess he only had one mana. So I was thinking I didn't want him to reanimate both the cats. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana. This thing is gonna jump, yeah. So I'm assuming they do not have, I'm assuming they don't have enough mana, or they don't have a way to kill the Scarab God, or I feel like they already would have done that. That's, that's a big girl. And so with that in mind, I want to kill this champion of wits. Uh, oh, am I just dead? I might just be dead, actually. I think I'm just dead. I block here, 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 take nine. Yeah, I'm dead. All right. Good beats. The, the lifelink would have been very good. <laughs> Maybe I should have prioritized that more. Um, okay. So, hmm. Hostage taker seems bad because all our cards cost too much mana. Um, confiscation coup seems very good. Cast down seems very good. Doomfall seems pretty medium. This kills the Lord and gains me life, so it's probably better than Doomfall. Also, I can flash back with, uh, with Gear Hulk. Dang, I missed that pun. Um, I don't love Vizier. So, basically, I think my opponent has pretty low power level cards on average. Um, especially the... I think their best card is that 4-4 that, four -four that makes cats when it attacks. And I don't think that card is good if I copy it. Right? Because if I copy it... Then they have a 4-4 four, four, and I have a 4-4 four, four, and then they attack and I trade with their 4-4. Four, four, but now I don't have 4-4 four, four anymore. Uh, this hand is very good. My very good I mean has Fatal Poison Gwensu Siphoner. Which I think is just the Nuts verse. 
every deck. So we're going to give it a shot. We are going to give it a shot. My opponent has mulligan to five. In their deck where every good card is very expensive, I think this will help us win. That was kind of impressive from their deck, actually. Cause I feel like we did a lot of a lot of what our deck really wanted to do. And then just kind of got stuffed. All right, now we're going to play Bob is too dumb to cast Champion of Wits. Yep, too dumb. Okay, I think two of these is definitely too expensive. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just both of the Gear Hulks I don't need. Yeah, let's, let's try that. I think I can take a more aggressive posture this game. This thing's a snake? I thought this was... Oh, wait. I, I knew this was a snake. I didn't, I didn't know it was a cat. Um, but okay, I guess. And I guess I will kill this now. Because I want to get in with the champion. I've got a contempt for their follow-up big thing. Okay. I think this is better than than Mr. Scarab God. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I gotta think if they have if they have the lands thing. They like probably do. Um, I guess the play around lands thing. We'll attack with just these two. Oh, ma oh maybe not. All right, deal. So if they if they had held up four mana, I would have stacked with these two. The idea being that one, Scarab God benefits from extra mana, but then I still have one Glint Sieve so I can draw a card next turn with my two energy. Because I still get the trigger off this one. Hey look, we won. We did it. Okay, so we should probably board out all these Essence Scatters because they have the cat and it'll just make me really sad. Um, hmm. I was kind of joking about that, but I also really don't want to just die to the stupid cat. <laughs> what if we just go like this? This seems fine. I think I think killing a uh. Oh my god, this hand is so close to being good. This hand, if this hand had a black source, I'd be very into it, but it does not. Um, I believe in us. I believe in us, chat. I believe in our ability to draw another land in our... Oh, God, that's so good, but no. Dang! See, you're you're never rewarded. We should have kept the we should have kept the 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 fatal push, and then we clearly would have been rewarded. I 
I'm like, oh dang, this makes fungal whatever you call it way better. Oh, got a bigger cat. I'm gonna block this. It's a good draw. Might have been better to contempt that. Just because it's more mana efficient. So here I'm looking for lands. Um, I'm also going to probably bin a Scarab God. Uh, have we just been both Scarab Gods? I probably want the second one. Um, <sighs> Command of Memory. I wouldn't have been both of them. So the idea here is that Liliana down take get back Scarab God is is much better than just playing Scarab God because you have a Planeswalker and a Scarab God. And I think in an effort to keep the board as clean as possible as we go into what I think will be our pivotal turn. I wanted to, you know, maybe screw off a little resources, but the 2-1 body is not particularly relevant. Look at me. I I, I got some sick lines. So, sometimes I think of cool lines and, and I implement them. Yep. Um, so what's what's the best creature? Pro oh, this 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 is the this is always the best creature. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna do some things to our opponent. Um, we'll ditch these. We'll bottom that, top that. Play this. Cast down the caracal. I, I am fine with this. I, I do not need the card advantage from Mr. Siphoner anymore. Or Miss Siphoner? Definitely Miss Siphoner. All right, we did it. We did it, guys. We beat the cats. We beat Cat Tribal. There's nothing we can't do. We did a sweet line that only sort of mattered because we were very far ahead. But it was sweet anyway. This guy is double queuing it in a competitive standard league match, which is also what we're playing. Uh, yeah. This this hands this hands pretty good. Champion of Wits is basically Brainstorm. As long as you keep it in your hand, there's nothing you can't do. Okay. So this is Storm stuff. I think I want this land.
So I, I have never played against the Storm deck, but I know they have the Thopterist guy who's important, and I know they have Karn who's important, and I think that's it. I think I think all the other cards stuck. That is that is the plan. We, we're gonna hold up this card for a very long time. And that's why I want to, so again against combo decks you really you really need a lot of mana because I want to eventually you know play this champion of wit and hold up essence scatter right and that's it's not something I can do without you know five lands so I want to make sure I'm getting to that as quickly as possible if I draw a a what do you call it oh no crane if I draw a Siphoner for this turn, I will cast it. Oh no, a Mox Amber. Guys, this thing might make a mana. It, it might make an... Oh, dang. All right, well, I guess we're doing that. Um, yeah. If, if he plays Psy into Mox Amber, he could definitely get something going on this turn. But I think it is too important... For me to try to get my card advantage down on the table. If they do play Psy. Oh crap, this is actually really bad. Cause I can't I can't field of ruin if they only have islands. Dang, this is bad. This is bad, guys. Okay. So what so what is the plan? What now is the plan? Oh god. Oh god, so so many bad cards. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die now. Took, I took what I thought was a risk. Maybe it was wrong. Is this deck on the sideboard guide? Grixis, Mirror, Mono Green, Blue White, Esper, Exit. This this one isn't in the isn't the sideboard guide either. I feel like I feel like I'm being let down here. So I'll attack with this. So we got them down to like, yeah, if they have rebuke, we're going to get kind of stuffed. If they have a rebuke for an XI. Dude, I like these cards too. We, we might die to like these cards, which, which are much worse than our cards. That's okay. I need to go to Goldfish and see what's in the stack. Yeah, whatever. I'm not convinced this card actually does anything, but th I may, I, I may feel dumb for saying that later. Oh, you feel like zero mana Karn? I'll probably be pretty good. I'll probably lose to that. Mono blue artifacts. That's a Karn. I'm just gonna scoop it to the Karn. Uh, I guess. Uh, 
You know, I make a guy... If I can draw a contempt to kill this Karn, then maybe I'm okay. Right, so their deck has... Four Psy. This deck has no Karn in the main. We're not attacking with the Thopter, because Thopter is too cool to attack. Gonna try to draw into like a fatal push and a contempt. Alright, we got we got one of the two. I think. These are going in the bin. I I am pretty sure that this car would be doing the same thing whether or not he played the statuary. I mean, I guess he couldn't have cast it, so he, he was missing a land drop. But so far, the statuary has been has been basic island. Okay. So what do I think is good here? These all seem great. I'll take this damage. I might be able to get, get this guy to, f to fight this down or something. I I understand that, but if you're if you're watching this game. Our, our opponent is not comboing us. That's that's not what's happening. Seven. Okay, so I need I need this thing to block. I'm not sure. That not holding the scatter was correct. Or that playing the Glint Sieve out was wrong. Because I think... What if on that turn... You want... Okay. I mean, I I'll counter it if they, if they play it and I have the ability to counter it. But... Okay, so... What... Do I want to do with this matchup? Spyglass seems. Hmm. Spyglass only turns off Karn. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of suit. Like, I just don't have the the right mix of interaction, even in poker games. Okay, so. Hmm. So cast down seems bad. All of these seem good. Hostage Taker seems good. Doomfall seems pretty bad. Duress seems great. I'm trying to figure out how I want to fight their size most effectively. I think Scarab God's probably bad in this matchup because there's not really going to be anything to, to reanimate. I think this seem this is this is basically my board plan versus control. Uh, with the exception of possibly the Source of Spyglass, and I don't think Doomfall is very good. It's, I think it's just like an expensive duress here. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna try this out. Possibly want like a search. I am looking at their list. I guess Ornithopter plus Crane is bad if I play a siphoner. Okay. Well, it's in the deck, but I I see, I see what you're saying, and I, and I think it's definitely not very good on the draw. I, th I think it's a, it's just so much pressure against the combo deck on the play. 
But I, I do see how Ornithopter plus uh, Crane, which are normally cards you don't care about, are going to break my Siphoner, which is pretty bad. Sounds pretty good. Um, I really want a really want a blood fast here. Opponent is bowling it into five, which is probably good for us. A sigh and a crane. Um, here, I just want to take their their enabler. I just don't want them to get a critical mass. Also, siphoner is great. Look! Look how good the siphoner is. Why would anybody ever tell me to cut it? Yeah, I I agree their hand is not is not great. One three for two. Si size not even not even very good in that hand <laughs> is is the thing, right? This is probably bad, actually. This card seems really expensive. Um, I don't want to put the shields down to cast a siphoner. My plan here is to commit basically anything they cast and then try to siphon or holding up Supreme Well. If they counter this, I will let them do that. Yeah, I can't I can't imagine anything going too wrong here. We're just we're just gonna keep drawing cards. And so th this is why I wanted Siphoner, but I, I under like if they had a single Ornithopter, this this whole play doesn't work. So I definitely understand why it's not at its best here. Uh, I do not need to run out this Champion of Wits to change the clock in any way. So I'm just going to hold up commit here. The brick wall. I expect this to get countered. Busted.
So they're pretty dead now. Two ones, too strong. Alright. So I definitely think Siphoner gets a good bit worse on the draw. Maybe I want like a search for Ascanta. Does this do anything? I don't think this does anything. Cast down still seems terrible. Doomfall is probably fine. It, with with all of this interaction, I think Doomfall gets a lot better. And then... Do we think Spyglass naming Karn is good? The <laughs> Aether Flux. <laughs> I don't think that's the play. I think Spyglass is probably good. I think Karn is one of the things I'm more scared about. I can see that being wrong. I don't really like. I didn't really like this. Never. Hmm. This is gonna have nothing to get back. All right, putting in one of these. Putting in two of these. All right, mm. this gets so much better on the draw. Oh no 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 no. What did I end up doing? Do I have one siphoner? All right, we we have one siphoner. It is it is the right number of siphoners. We have a Vizier instead of this Essence Scatter. So that's wrong. <laughs> Hopefully we don't. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, this ends kind of bad. I'm mulling in it. This ends also kind of bad, but... So I think here, I want to make sure I have this Essence Scatter up on their side turn. So I'm playing the Fetid Pools on one. I think Duress isn't as important until their second turn. Or until they're getting up to four mana. Yep. Yeah, so now if he doesn't play a Psy, I can play Duress into Essence Scatter. Guys, I'm so good at magic. Okay, so what do I do here? I'm gonna do this. Unfortunately, I, I want to take both of these cards, but I cannot, and Karn is going to kill me. While I think I can outgrind the treasure map, it, it, it's, it's not going to be easy. I definitely do not want to try to outgrind the treasure map. But I think it is doable.
I will take the good card. So, discarding Gear Hulk is like kind of weird there. Um, ooh, you put a card on top. That's not good. Cards on top are bad. That's not that bad. All right, so what does this thing do? This thing costs five mana, so I don't need to blow this up yet. So next turn, I can minus Liliana to get a, I put another card on top? This this isn't fair. My opponent's putting too many cards on top of the library. Next turn, I can minus on Gear Hulk to Supreme Will and try to find some more interaction. Try to find like a move spell for this and do Hold of Negate. He has like, if he's outcome this turn, that's gonna be pretty rough for me. Just gonna pick up a lot of things. Although he doesn't, I I, I guess this is, hmm. You pick up a lot of cards. It's gonna be kind of problematic. I feel like I had to play this though. If I just hold up the gate this turn, I don't feel like I'm actually getting anywhere. I think this is definitely an outcome. He is, he is thinking long and hard. If it, if it is an outcome, I think it's I don't know. I, I do not know what our opponent should be doing if they do have an outcome. cards in their hand now they're gonna make some thought to boys thought to boys are gonna probably kill my Liliana which is sad so I know they have a prism a um, treasure map and a renegade map in their hand. Really need to kill this. Get this back. Target impulse. Grab this one because it cycles.
There's no reason to attack. So the issue here is I don't think we can beat all these doctors. I don't I don't I don't think we have enough beef beef to punch through this big wall. But we are going to try. Encounter that. I think we're just gonna die to these thopters. You know, send two at Lily, possibly two at my face. My opponent's also playing very slowly, which kind of makes me wanna concede. I'm I'm just gonna concede here. We're not actually dead, but we don't I don't think we have a way to beat these doctors and our opponent is playing slow as dirt. So I'm kinda off it. Um Yeah, I don't know. The game in which we drew early interaction, our opponent had no chance of winning, but then when that didn't happen. I felt like they were pretty far ahead, so I'm not I'm not sure. I think I think this card very good against Swamp. That was a good draw. Okay, so the plan now is to draw all the cards with Bloodfast until we eventually win. Um, this, in my experience, has been very effective <laughs> verse in the blue black mirror. Hopefully I don't brick on land drops. That would be unfortunate. We will discard second blood fast, doesn't do anything, so. Oh, where's that? Main deck. Fungal infection. Okay.
Memes are boring, man. Hmm. I like I like playing good decks. This is awkward. I can't do the same thing he did to me. Um, I'm just going to try this. Yes, we definitely need to kill us on my next turn. Definitely want the lands here. Not contempting the first thing I think was a mistake. No, we're fine. If they kill this, we're dead. So the, and they have a decent amount of ways to kill this. But if they don't kill this, we're fine. Yeah, we're dead. Alright, that was unfortunate. I feel like I feel like I could have won that game. And kind of threw it away. Let's see, in the mirror. Cut these things. Cast down hostage taker, board in, duress, search, chase defeat, fungal infection. Oh okay. well. Yeah, I there's there's no way that that game was played correctly. Like the fact that I had so many cards in my hand. And was just unable to close that. I Means I probably should have paid more attention to the board. Like de definitely playing the definitely playing the never to return over the Vasquez contempt was back, and I couldn't flash back with Gear Hulk, which would have been which would have won me the game because I could flash back with Gear Hulk and try to kill Gear Hulk. I sack it to to the temple. Gain six. All right, this hand. God, I really want this hand, but I'm going to be disciplined. This is like the same hand, but I have a scry, so it's so it's better. Uh, yeah, we'll top. Let's see. Let's see what they got. Their hand is bad.
expect them to play Champion of Wits this turn and try to make their hand less bad. Yep. Worth noting, we have card advantage on the board, but that means we have we have much less cards in hand. Uh, we really need to hit. We really need to hit some lands here. Do not do that. They have Spell Pierce. I'm going to feel like a big dummy. How's it going? Oh no, a card! Scarecrow? A second Liliana. I am appreciative that our opponent is not down ticking. I don't know if we could beat them down ticking. I can't cast this. That's unfortunate. Hey man, thanks. Thank you for the prime. Yeah, so Island definitely would have been good. Um, not drawing Island is actually very bad. I I did not realize we didn't have a second blue here. Um, it's not good either. Already played a land this turn. I think we can still win this game. I, I don't think we need to go for the moral victory quite yet. It is it is very unfortunate that Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> That's pair rogue. Discard deadline and champion of wits. Well, that's bad. Probably takes my gear hulk. Um, okay. That's also a line. I don't know, man. Magic's magic's a hard game. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I will cast this on this. And then I will cast this. Okay, take, oh, I guess I'm just dead. I, I guess he knew, I, I, that might have been in his hand, he just knew I was dead. So I, I think this game, we didn't really have a chance to win, but the previous game we did. Um, I think I think game one, we definitely screwed, or I guess I was playing, so I screwed up. I'm gonna give this deck another shot. This this is much harder than streaming modern. <laughs> the, the, the games of modern, I, I partially have, I've played them a lot more. And that's that's why I'm I'm trying to not that's what I'm trying to stream this. I'm trying to you know get back into standard and figure out what all the play patterns are. Yeah, I definitely think definitely think I could have won the first game, and then possibly won the second game with like and then if I win the first game I have I have two post board games to try to win they do go longer than four turns they do they do do that and you don't like so I play a lot of a lot of cryptic command decks in modern but the cryptic command decks it's pretty clear where the inflection point is and once you hit that inflection point and pulled ahead you're usually very far ahead. You have your your cryptic to kind of whatever they have draw a card, and then you flip past Kanto and activate Fairy, and there's no way you're gonna lose. And these games are a lot less like that. There's a lot more micro decision making. You're only gaining uh, small edges per per decision point. This hand's fine. This hand really wants to draw a siphoner. Cause yeah. All right, the redemption match. I want to field and get a blue source here so that I can champion of wits and do stuff with that.
Uh, sure. He cannot poke a hole in this hand. Oh, the hand is too strong. I guess. Let's wait till the end of turn. I don't think we need Fatal Push this game. It's so it's a different kind of thing than those grindy games because those are a lot more spell based, which I think is a different skill set than standard grind, which is usually very creature based. And like leveraging your very expensive spells, whereas Legacy is a lot more, in my experience, about picking your spot because so many of your spells end up being free. Do I want to feel this turn? I think I do. He plays a no. If he plays a a scarab got here, I'm not very well set up to answer it. <laughs> he just decked you. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh no, that's that's not good. So discarding that means they have something very good in their hand that I need to get rid of. Oh, vomit. Vomit. So, our out. Okay, I guess the cycle of the sensor. That's, that's part of the out. If they play Scarab God and I can contempt this Scarab God, if I rip contempt off the top, we could maybe get there. If we don't do that, they're going to get back my Champion of Wits and kill me. <laughs> yeah, so if, if I miss here, I will concede. Okay, um, shoop a doop a doop a doop a doo, shoop 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 a doo. Supposed to have this in over oh over this cast down my bad. Uh this end's fine. We have contempt we won't just like die to a scarab god, so that's nice.
All right. Last time we drew this, we lost. So hopefully this time we'll go slightly better than that. Do not auto yield here. Uh, this this one's pretty good. I'm uh, gonna try to use this to win the game. So, the deck doesn't have very many powerful fours. And with that in mind, I'm going to contempt this. I don't think the one card is super important, but I think it's more important than preventing anything they can do on this turn. All right, let's try to figure this out. I don't think I need two counter spells. I don't have enough mana for this. So we're gonna get rid of these. Yeah, I mean, that is, <laughs> I feel like I have bricked on a lot of land drops in these games. Maybe it's just, it's just like I'm losing bias, but ugh. It has been brutal. I think here, block that. I just need to get, just need to take less damage. The problem is now I need to draw like land and spells. So like, yeah, I draw this, but. So, I can play the Scare of God, which seems weak. I can Contempt a Siphoner. Which seems fine. my best line I think the way I win is their hand is a lot of removal and I'm able to to leverage this blood fast I'm also hoping he bricks on this land drop because then he can't play a, a scary thing and I can untap have these open and possibly get there. Yeah. So this, he's going to take my Scarab God. Play my own Glint Sleeve. Okay, we are 
We are in the game. We are not doing super hot, but we are at least in the game. Uh, if he tries to kill my Siphoner, I'm going to let him, because it's not drawing a card this turn anyway. And I can just use that mana to draw a card off this and try to get up on mana. See what I got here, yeah. Don't worry, guys. I found the lands. passes here I will impulse All right, we got a plan. <laughs> no, our plan doesn't work anymore. No. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, I guess actually. Champion of Wits. This is actually kind of fucked in this position. So do this. Draw some cards. Discard some lands. Dress my opponent. Maybe we should have been this actually. Five, okay. Take blood fast. He plays Scarab God. Yep. Play Scarab God. I play champion, try drawing something good. That's a good card. Guys, I'm pretty into this game. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. <laughs> I am pretty into everything that's going on right here. Not gonna lie. And this this is the tilt uh the tilt pause. Alright, so hopefully we can get we can do something sweet like get our opponent to um try to contempt our champion. Um I think I counter this. Yeah, because they are they are drawing to a seventh land. I mean, I guess, I guess that they're going to counter my counter. Yeah, okay. That's fine. What do you discard? Discarded Island Vraska's Contempt. So I would expect another land in his hand. Obviously the life, the one life isn't super relevant, but mostly I'm just trying to get cards into my yard. Um, I guess, okay. Yeah, flash this back. Dude, this, this deck is so sweet. <laughs> oh god, I'm so into everything going on here. Put in, so now on my next one, I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So I can Scare God plus activate. Okay. What's he even gonna try to do here? Yeah. That's good. All right, so his hand is Vraska's Contempt. Do 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 Hey love. Sounds like your stream is going well. Stream is going well. We are we are winning the games of Magic the Gathering. All the games. Well, we're winning this game. Well, we were at one point. I was like hovering over the concede button. I thought I was just dead. Should never concede. I. That's that's what we're learning. We're learning important lessons on the stream. Whose cute dog is on your screen? Which dog? That's that's just Twitter. This is uh Brian Gottlieb's dog. Brian Gottlieb has a very cute dog. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I like it better when you have the video box. This box? Yeah. I mean, it's still over here. I just, it's not bigger. Well, but I can't tell if I'm on the screen. Okay, you're like sort of on the screen. I don't exist. <laughs> well, now you're hiding, so you're not on the screen. Woo! We won! <laughs> All right, that was sweet. Hi, hi Aurora. So Aurora gets to be on the stream, but but. Well, because the people like Aurora. 
You gotta oh. give the people what they want. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Aurora. This is my cat. It's my cat. It, she's my cat too, alright? Mm -mm. What is it with these one-landers? Alright, chat. Do we, do we keep the one-land swamp hand? Nobody's answering, dude. Well, we, we gotta give it time. Nobody has said anything since we've been in here. Don't go away, you're mean. No. Alright, we're, we're not keeping this hand. This hand's bad. Wait, somebody answered. This hand's like a really good way. See, Ro Rogue's got my back. This hand is like that other hand. He's your one and only But fan. we have a scry. Um, can we just show the world what Aurora's doing? I can't, because you don't, you don't want to be on camera. Ah. And there's, there's my fiance. Womp. So we might just die here. But you know what? That's okay. We, we had a sweet game. We fought the good fight. Well, yeah, we, we fought the good fight. That's, that's what matters. Is that cream puff ice cream on your Twitter? I guess so. That sounds really good. Well, you should get a Twitter and tell Mr. Mr. Cedric Phillips that his dinner looks delicious. Well, I'm just saying that your Twitter is more interesting than your game. Go, go away. Give me. I'm pushing you out. Well, we, we were... We were more likely to hit on this hand, and we are not hitting, so... Now I, th I think we're just we're just gonna get buried. Eighty six percent. We are the one percent or something. All right, go blood fast. So that resolved. So that's that's good. Oh no. Okay, phew. I'm about to say, if he cast Scare of we put this Champion of Wits in the bin. That's that's going to be not the best. Alright, so let me see. He discarded S Scatter, Drown Catacomb. Guys, we're getting there. We're, we're slowly but surely drawing lands. These these counter spells would be a lot better if we could ever hit our land drops. So what to do here? I think I can play this. If we can draw to a if we can draw to a field or brew, I actually think we're in a pretty good spot. But that's a pretty big if. You got a Doomfall. <laughs> the 
is this is ridiculous. Counter that. Discard blood fast. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I I am attempting to put more lands in my deck, but it's a hard life. Luckily, our opponent's getting really antsy and like playing into our stuff. Yeah, in a situation like this on my opponent's side, I think he's trying too hard to, to push the issue. Like, currently I have more spells than he does, right? Because I'm missing out on my land drops. But if he just activates Death Kanta every turn, he's going to eventually be able to beat me on mana advantage. But by jamming stuff, he's, he's ho basically by jamming stuff, he's hoping I don't have anything. But because I'm not playing lands, I obviously have something because I don't have any lands. Like, this this doesn't... I don't take... You need to take any of these cards. That, that's also very nice of him. Um, opponent, opponent is a swell chap. A wonderful fellow. Rudy, get out of here. I'm just trying to enjoy a game of Magic the Gathering. The Rudy's are bullying here. Just a uh, guy who was at my event and saw me lose because I yeah. All right, so we need either either a land or a contempt here. We got there. We did it. God, my my client is just like hanging hard. Okay, so <laughs> if we win this match after just getting savaged by every draw step, that'd be pretty great. Um Okay, I was I was probably going to block that, but now I will not. I think, I, I think he cast that Doom Fall. Even if he didn't, I've got the Scarab God on on sack duty. So it's not a huge deal. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he got one of my counter spells. I don't know, man. Our opponent is is taking random game actions. 
and I'm not going to stop him. Our opponent is trying very hard to lose this game, so I'm going to do my absolute best to assist him in his endeavors. Definitely discarding a Scarab God. Do I discard both? I think discarding both is fine because I have the temple. Yeah, they also know we have a billion Scarab Gods. I don't want to cast that. So I'm going to cast this. Um, so here I can either cast Siphoner. I think I, think I want to... I think I can hold up, hold up defeat this turn. And then next turn I can like cast Scarab God, hold up defeat, or I guess I can't hold up defeat. So maybe next turn just like cast Scarab God Siphoner. Cycle Fetid Pools. Awkward. It's not under a counter. He's got two mana up in this Jace's defeat. So he would have just countered the Scarab God. I, I do agree that if I had the ability to get it in under a counter, then that would have been preferable. Yeah, the, um, the field gives them a land too. They, they tapped out to, to activate the thing, but then I couldn't, this thing doesn't have flash. Because it sucks. Alright, so if I draw a land here, I can go Liliana, Midas into Scarab God, reanimate my opponent's Champion of Wits. Um, which seems good. So we're going to try to do that.
worth noting if I had kept the land over this Scarab God, that I would have been able to reanimate their Champion of Voice, at which point I don't think I can lose. So now the worry is they go... Yeah. So sack this. May it might have been right to play this Scarab God this turn, actually. Because now they have a Jace's defeat. They're sacking me. Okay, I'm into that. Yeah, I mean, I, I also agree with that. But my opponent is allowed to take whatever game actions they think are the best. Oh, God. Okay. I think I'm going to be using all my mana, so I don't think I want this tap land. I won, I won. <laughs> that game was sweet. <laughs> Standard's great. That game was great. This deck is great. Oh, God. Dude, this, these games are hard, though. <laughs> I, I am very sure that if, that if we were to go and rewatch that match, uh, which y'all can do over my YouTube channel after this is over. Um, I probably did not play that game close to optimally. There was a lot of decision making. I like how we played the end of it. Um, and I like how my opponent let me stay in there by just randomly jamming stuff for no reason. So, props to opponent. Sure, I did the right mode on that. I probably would have attacked with that, but. I'm not going to tell my opponent how to play their deck. I think our opponent is dead. Yeah, so that that was that was just gonna be a blowout. Um, all right, so against red black, uh, I sport out a thing to die to Mister Whirly Boy, and I board in this for their big stuff. Um. Oh, by by drawing the card first. <laughs> That, that was not why I did that, but I do agree that tilting your opponent is great.
yeah, I'm not. I, I don't have negates in my deck, so there really wasn't anything I could draw that was going to be better than that. Um, that was going to be better than the Supreme Will, but you know they don't know that. I think this hand, the the fact all of these lands that don't make colored mana have been have been problematic. I don't think I want this. Don't do it. Oh, God. 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 This card sucks. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken that one. It's possible I should have taken the one. That's fine. Missing land drops. All right, I'm into that. We do need to draw, you know, a spell somewhere. Obviously, I just got to make this hand much better because it'll be a spell. Get stuffed. Oh no, another spell. Oh wait, we also do a spell. We could use Ch Champion of Witch would be great here. That card's busted. Oh no. Their spell's way better than our spell. Alright, we're, so we're gonna die to this. Um, just, just so everything's above board, we're just, we're just gonna die to this. I'm gonna block now because they could. Yeah, but we're not gonna hit contempt. We're go we're gonna die to it. I've I've, pl I've played this game before. Yep. Get world. This this makes me feel silly for not. Yep. Dead. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do that again, and uh, try to draw better. Going to try to draw better. We're going to try to keep a seven that has lands that can cast our spells in it. All right. No, I think I need. I think I need action now. I don't, I don't think I want to play play that. I guess like I guess this shows to be their hand, right? So I probably should have cast this. Alright, well never punished. Chandra, double doomful. Okay. Interesting. All 
I think we want to keep the cards in our hand. And doing this incentivizes them to... To eat our thing with Doomfall, yeah. Where like I don't I don't really care if that happens. Um I don't know, man. No! So punished. Just, just the most punished. Yep. Yeah, okay. We're gonna die again. This, this red matchup seems real bad. <laughs> I feel like we just keep keep not having enough to do. Like, I don't know. May maybe maybe taking the Beaumont was bad. I, I could see it being bad. But just holding it and then hoping we flash in this naked gear hulk. If we hit a land. Like, that's somehow better. I don't know. I I don't know. Let's see how this one goes. Oh. We're keeping this. I'm done. I'm done mulliganing. We're going to keep hands and we're going to die with them. Playing against either. A, this is probably Gift. Probably gonna get killed on turn four. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Alright, so here's, here's the plan. He's gonna do this. Gonna make some guys. We're gonna kill this. We're gonna draw a hostage taker and take this God Pharaoh's gift. It's gonna be sweet. Alright, we didn't do it. Okay, um, I think push is bad, I think duress is good, I think the gates are good, spell here is probably good, I think cast down is pretty good. Hmm. 
Never seems bad. Essence Scatter, they have big guys. From like one of these. Uh, this thing's just fine. Uh, maybe I should have kept a fatal push for minister. See that being the right call? Don't really care about oh, this hand's pretty bad. I don't what what enabler are you talking about? They don't they don't play the um the other artifact that that tutors for this one. If he names Scarab God, I'll probably just discard his champion of wits. No, no, they just played the refurbish. Basically, the decks that play Refurbish um, don't play the Enabler. Because Enabler is actually pretty hard to turn on. You need to have a lot of creatures. Alright, so we'll probably just discard the Scarab Gods as Champion of Wits. It is a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. Five five would be pretty good here. Not uh, not gonna lie. Also, these are all much worse than uh, Essence Scatter would have been. So probably we'll change that going forward. So I want that guy to die because then I can flash it back next turn.
I mean, it doesn't re reanimate anything right now, so that's <laughs> that's something at least. And the exile here is going to be pretty good in that regard. Oh, here's man. Rawr. It's a five five roar. All right. Guys, we have a 5-5 five five on board, ready to smack down. Oh no. Oh no. No! None of those things are creatures. Yay! We did it! Oh, this is a zombie that's busted. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that on top. Oh, and this, she makes zombies for the, oh, this is sweet. All right, we're going to, we're going to try to get rid of this. Okay. That was convenient. That's that's pretty good. We did it. We did it, team. All right. All right. I think I'm done after this game because my brain hurts, but we're going to get one more shot. All right. Um. Hmm. Cast down... Seems pretty bad. Hostage taker actually seemed pretty good against what our opponent had, especially post board. Especially since we can like hostage taker the spyglass if they're trying to be rude like that. Uh, this hand's pretty powerful. All right, this game. If they play the spy, if they play the thing, they will have the fuel. Yep.
they jam here, I will concede. So obviously, or I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to beat them like getting back champion of wits and then champion of wits. Okay. We live to fight another day. Here, I'm just trying to take pressure off the table. I think we can win the long game. Doomfall doesn't do anything. Hopefully we can negate something into Gear Hulk, Brassicus Contempt, the Angel, and then win from there. Champion's just gonna block one of these servos. Try to make me not die. Conveniently, if they want to uh, like play a gift this turn, they have to do a pre-combat. Or I mean, I guess they don't have to do a pre-combat, but yeah, it only does something if they do a pre-combat. So I can do this. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just gonna lose to this at the beginning of. Yeah, um, I can. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, the problem is I'm taking exactly six here. He negates this. I can counter the spell, but then I'm taking six. I can bounce his angel, but then I'm still taking six. Yep, all right, I'm dead. All right, um, I think I'm going to call it here. These, these games are long and make my head hurt. <laughs> um, thanks, everyone, for watching. I will upload this to YouTube. Uh, Y'all have a good night.